Hello Cancer, welcome to your October 2023 general reading. Thanks for joining me, my name's Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. For my cross watchers out there, just a heads up that this may not resonate for my cross watchers, reason being it is meant for the sign that I'm reading for specifically. So Cancer, Sun and Rising in this case, for the month of October, I'm leaving it completely open in terms of the messages that come through. So let's see what comes out for you for Cancer for the month of October, please, Spirit, for Cancer. Okay. Please do press that thumbs up button while you've got a minute, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. And if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Welcome, welcome. Let's have a look here, Cancer. I'm already getting some messages for you. Let's see. Cancer for October. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um... Cancer, the thing is... There's an energy of purity around you. I'm getting a pure light, and that's what I was getting when I was shuffling your cards. And there's people around you now, some are good, some are not so good, right? Some are keepers, some you want to keep at arm's length. Now you inspire trust, you inspire someone else's confidence. Okay, so let's see where that goes. It may be that someone's reaching out to, to talk to you about something that, uh, that they need for you to keep secret or something like that. So let's see here. Uh, let's take a look. I want to get the shadow energy. Cancer for the month of October, for the Halloween month. What is the shadow energy that surrounds Cancer for October, please, Spirit? For October, for Cancer, please, Spirit. Ooh. Dark spell. Hmm. It's a little bit like, you know, I've got Snow White here. I can't help but think of the uh, the fairy tale there. Where Snow White gets um, poisoned by uh, the, evil, the evil queen there. Gosh, yeah. Ooh. It feels a little bit like um, someone preying on purity. I mean, there's darkness here, there's light. I mean, it's quite, it's quite easy to spot the, uh, the difference here between these two people. Ooh. Wow. Now, this, this, the thing with this Snow White energy is I feel that although they may appear this way, uh, they are attuned to what is bad for them. You know, Snow White was a little bit naive, I guess you could call her. I'm not picking that up in this case, Cancer. You know, it's being able to spot the, uh, the negative, being able to spot the, uh, the, bad, the bad people from the good people, you know? Uh, some of you may have a strong affinity with animals as well. Some of you may prefer the company of animals, and trust me, I'm, <laughs> I'm with you there. Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. You know, you've got dreams of prosperity. But rather than just dream about it, rather than just uh, daydream about it, you're being asked to come up with a plan here. This is full moon in Taurus energy, Cancer. So let's see where this is going. Oh, we've got the Ten of Wands here. Heavy burdens around you, Cancer. My spirit guide is saying this can't continue much longer. You need a practical plan for your future. I think that you, you're busy climbing the mountain here. You, you, you're about three quarters of the way up by the looks of it. Now, just because you've started this climb and you've started this climb a certain way doesn't mean that you can't pause on the way up this mountain and, and rethink. Perhaps that's what you're doing right now, rethinking your, your strategy about the future. 
because we've got the lovers here and, and the, the journey here may be better taken with two. Perhaps someone else can help you out with some of these sticks you've been carrying around here. Cancer, you've been carrying around a lot. So it seems like you're thinking about partnership. The green woman. Wow, this is Empress Energy. So for some of you, you you're trying to manifest abundance in your life and you feel like it will be better with two than one stands to reason it's um i feel that this this is this is what you're seeking you're, you're seeking you're seeking a life where you don't have to constantly struggle you know you're seeking help you're seeking assistance but i also feel that when it comes to getting this, it, it's going to take effort, you know, this is not something that's easy to come by. Right in the center we've got the sun, so this is beautiful energy. You want to feel the sun on your face, you want to feel... You want to feel free, you want to feel healthy. I get a healthy energy here as well. This dark spell that's been cast, Cancer, it feels like a pal over you, like a dark cloud of negativity. And I can see why. I mean, obviously you've been struggling hard here. So it's, it stands to reason. Now you've got this pure light of, I feel that this is this person here. Now for some of you this 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 is both this is you both of these things but for others of you I feel like this is this is the two people that we're talking about here the lovers won't be for all of you like there's one person here that's that's quite dark and it has a heavy shadow and the other person casts no shadow or very very I feel like they've integrated their shadow which is why they don't cast the shadow because the, the shadow is fully integrated this is person this is a spiritual person who's done the work and they have ascended leveled up animals are particularly attracted to that kind of energy because this 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 is a person that inspires trust and confidence Wow, okay. The Wanderer, the, uh, yeah, we've got the Fool here. Card of Aries. Wandering around, lost, dreaming. Does that sound like you, Cancer? I mean, uh, needing a direction, needing a goal, you know? It, it seems like... Um, This person is, is, is a helper, a healer, trusted source, a trusted confidant. So you can you can come out and, and you can tell this person of your frustrations, what what you you can reveal all of that. And if you ask for the answers they will be revealed. And, you know, I often see that the seer or the high priestess is something that comes from within. But first it, it, it seems to come from without. It comes from this person that's around you. So you acknowledge that it's possible. You acknowledge the good. And then you have to come back to yourself and open up and see the good within you. So that you can rebalance because <clears throat> it's like you've been tipped over the scales here to feeling all bad when really you're not all bad no, none of us are all bad there is good there too and, and it's able to be balanced out this duality right with the lovers this is quite a deep reading here um, cancer But if, if you can look at that, if, if, if there is someone around you that you see is, is doing better than you or is better than you in some, in some way, 
look at them and look at the qualities that, that you love about them and then see that in yourself. And then take steps to, to make a practical plan to accomplish that which you want to accomplish, whatever it may be. You are not lost. You are not lost. There's fellow travellers around you and this person especially, I feel, is someone that you can trust to reveal. Um, how are you feeling? The, this frustration that you're feeling, okay? Frustration with yourself. I'm going to leave it there, Cancer, and wish you all the very best. If you'd like to uh, have a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store. The link is in the box below. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button before you go. Share me on your social media, and if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you, Cancer. Please take care and bye for now.